everybody. My name is Phil Elam, and welcome to the ICU Award Show. This is a program that's all about independent films and bringing the independent films to the mainstream. Our very first guest is director Hugh Gall. Hey, Phil, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Have some popcorn. Popcorn. I want you to tell us all about the independent process and you being the director, what do you look for in a project that's gonna make it worth bringing it all together? Good question. Um, using the project projects that we work on, yeah. uh, the first thing I look for is the story. The story is the most important piece to, to anything that you wanna get involved in, I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel it's important to understand, is the story something that you can relate to, something that you feel general public and audiences would love. Uh, and and is, it, is it really well, well written? Well, at the Actors Loft, as you know, that's uh, a school I started 10 years ago. Mm. Um, it's a performing arts school here in Detroit, and we focus on uh, an actor at all levels. But I think the most important thing that you want to make sure that when you're building a character is you want to make sure you understand, again, how does that character work into the overall story right. that's being told? Right. Uh, and second of all, where is your character coming from? You know, be honest to the character, be true to its background. Um, you've been cast for the character if you get the part. Um, don't try and um, work too hard because you've been cast because the person believes that you are that person. Right? And you bring your own true self to the to role. That, right, right, right. And, and, and use yourself, um, your, your body, your you know, everything that you are, your soul comes into play. But I think it's really important that you understand you have to go back and, and then understand where that character comes from. So working on a backstory for a character is huge. And in order to get a good backstory, you usually get it right from the script itself. Right. Right. So don't go and watch the movie. One mistake a lot of actors make is trying to be something that they're not, as opposed to trusting in their own experience, as you said, and bringing their own life to the role. Because everybody has their own story to tell, and there's so much richness in each individual. And everybody has something to contribute. But I think sometimes as actors, we uh, forget that we are worth something in and of ourselves and that what happens outside doesn't define us but we just need to stay where we are and live from the inside out would you agree or disagree with that um yeah i mean i i, I completely agree i think that sometimes actors try too hard right right instead of trusting their instincts um, that's another key element that we work on at the actor's loft is training yourself to to, to be in a moment to be in a, a an honest truthful moment without thinking right because right. we're right. not we have everything working against us as an actor. You have your lines that work against you. You have the set, you know, um, the crew, the lights, uh, the boom, whatever it is, the right, director. Right. They're all kind of working against you because um, you have to block all that out, right? Right. And a lot of actors get caught in the moment of thinking too much, whether it is those things or thinking, are they doing a good job or what's my next line? So we really work at building a strong foundation of concentration. And the most important thing you can do as an actor is just listen respond right. and live moment to moment to moment yeah which yeah. is actually eternity but that's a whole nother right topic all together uh, but you're so right i mean if you think about the moment right it's really hard sometimes you have people that um will focus on wow that was a great take right mm -hmm. and then they'll try and replicate that take right. right and if they do that it's not a true moment anymore they're in their head they're thinking about how they sounded how they how they looked maybe on camera. followed after this yeah what do I do next? so they exactly. have to make sure that every moment is a new moment and to shake it off, um, kind of clear clear yourself off and, and get ready for that next take. That's right excellent. Next Hugh, yeah. there's a segment of the show that we're gonna start called It Should Have Been Me. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're a great director. Can you give me an actor that you wish you should have directed that you can direct? Who would that be and why and what would you do with that individual? I really like Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh. Got a strong method, a strong, um, you know, a way about how he approaches the craft and how he approaches characters. Um, he builds a character based on everything that character came from, so that the background, the story, um, you know, just a phenomenal actor. Um, so when he comes to the table, you know he's going to be very prepared. You know, one. are you familiar with an independent film that he did early on called My Beautiful Lingerie? 
Yes. Have you ever seen yes, that I film? Yes, I sure have. Yeah. yeah. That's, that kind that's of launched how, his career. Right. An right. independent film. Yep. A guy who's now mainstream Oscar award winning for performer. Sure. So, that, that's yeah. That's how it all starts. So, thank you so much for coming. Um, Actors Loft, we're yep. going to post the information. Perfect. And thank you so much for coming and hope to see you around. Thanks, Phil. Hope and to come back. And thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the ICU Award Show. Peace out.